kiddos, today I'll be talking about some of my favorite childhood memories. So the first story I have is the fat bag story. Now I was probably like three ish years old and I was in the living room and the kitchen's like right there and my granny was in there like washing dishes and stuff and I just suddenly start crying for fat back and I'm like I want fat back she couldn't understand what I was saying but I thought it was pretty funny because as a little kid she always would tell that story and still now she tells that story so I was really cheesy as a kid and hearing that story it's always like oh my gosh how did I do that but then it's really funny I mean what kid starts crying over fat back so the next story is about my Atlanta trip with my family. My family doesn't go on trips a whole lot, but we do enjoy it when we do, because usually we're that type of family. We just, on Sundays, we go out to eat, or we either make a nice family dinner, and we all go and talk. But when we did go on our Atlanta trip, it was super fun. So you had first we got there it was really cool it was definitely different than some of the things I see at home and I remember the Martin Luther King thing there it was like really blue water and it was so cool and had like the stuff about him and it was super cool and I loved it and then it also had lots of cool buildings and I don't remember doing too much exploring I just remember doing a few things with family like i think it might have been like a water park there or something i just can't recall i just know it was a really nice hotel but my trip was super amazing and it was my first like actual big trip with my family because usually we go to the beach so atlanta was like one of the biggest trips and i really enjoyed it so yeah if you haven't been to atlanta go check it out because i think you'll enjoy it so in elementary i was pretty cheesy as a kid in third grade, I decided to come up with a brilliant idea to make my own show called The Harmony Harm Show. And one day, you'll figure out why. But now, let me get into the details of why I made a whole TV show while I was in elementary. No camera, no nothing to write on, just people I would go around asking random questions to, to other third graders. And I would just be like, you want to be on my show? And they'd be like, yes. And people still remember it to this day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like a celebrity because like we're in... I'm in eighth grade now, so it was pretty cool to see how people remember me from all the way in third grade making a whole TV show, which I thought was pretty cool at the time. And also, if you've never seen the show Scandal, check that out. That's what made me want to do a TV show in elementary. Uh, I called myself a gladiator with other gladiators. Hey, I was in third grade with a super creative third grader mind, and I decided to make a show, which was super cool at the time. And I was called a gladiator, whatever that means, look it up. I think it means something such as maybe a kind of a super spy, but they don't admit it. Look at the show Scandal, you'll figure it out. And that was such an inspiration because I love that show and I still watch the whole episodes and all the seasons over and over and over and over. So yeah, I just thought that was a pretty cool story to share with you guys. That was one of my most exciting elementary stories, and I love doing that so much. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, kiddos. Have a wonderful, jolly, merry Christmas, and always stay happy and jolly. And I hope you enjoy my animations, and don't forget to share this video with your friends, and stay cool, kids, and subscribe. Love you guys so much. Have a jolly, merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Love you.